That's her, all right. She's entered the building. Have you seen this woman? Yes, yeah, she booked a room last night. She just came back a moment ago. She's in room 303 on floor 3. Thank you, ma'am. You heard her, men. Let's go. This is the police. We are armed and ready. Open up immediately and put your hands behind your head. We'll give you to the count of 10 before we smash this door open. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. On a second. Help? What do you mean by help? Atman, hashtag. We appreciate you showing up, but don't worry. We've got this covered. Don't listen to them. They're not real cops. I've done nothing wrong. Everyone, stand still. for certain that you're telling the truth. Hashtag, you saw what my lie detector Yeah, but said. you can't always trust that. I mean, logic dictates that she is the fugitive. You have to trust me. I've come a long way to see you, and I'm sick of running. If we can go somewhere less exposed, then I can explain everything. We don't have time to debate this. Your apartment is near here, right? Just a couple of blocks from here. Okay, then. We should stay there. We'll hear what you have to say, and we'll act accordingly. Maybe even contact the DCI about your case. Thank you, Atman. Okay, so you're sure we're safe here? As sure as we'll ever be. Okay then. Right. I guess there's no point in wasting any time. My name's Scarlet. Scarlet Brass. My whole life I've suffered from hemophilia, afraid to even leave my house. So, when I heard about an experimental facility off the coast of Mexico that would change my life for the better, I didn't hesitate. You see, researchers recently discovered that the Mayans used a rare kind of volcanic residue that, when spread on wounds, would heal instantly. A scientist by the name of Al Fonzine discovered that in high enough doses and in fluid form, this very chemical could alter blood cells and cure hemophilia for good. This, however, was very much experimental and not backed by the American government, but that was a risk I was willing to take. Dr. Fonzine offered a considerable sum to anyone willing enough to have tests run on them. I took the next flight to Mexico. As soon as I reached the airport, Alfonso's henchmen were ready to pick me up. Little did I know what was in store for me. Where on earth are we 
going. Welcome to my humble abode, Ms. Bross. I am Dr. Fonzane. This was no ordinary hospital. This was an asylum. Dr. Fonzane's skull wasn't so noble, and the patients were treated like animals. He served under a top-secret organization called the Founders. What they stand for and their agendas, maybe? I cannot say. All I know is that he believed that the serum was essential to their plan, whatever that means. And the serum, what exactly did it accomplish? A small dose was enough to cure my disease, but a high enough dose was incredibly dangerous. I was the first patient to survive the test. All the others were not successful. Their bodies would rapidly stiffen. They would turn into stone. As for me, I only turn into stone whenever solid material penetrates the skin. But unlike the others, I remain active. And I know you're wondering how did I escape? Well, they had just turned me into a super weapon, unsusceptible to bullets or any force put against me. So the first chance I had, I planned my escape. My journey back has been a challenging one, to say the least. Once I had escaped, they dispatched agents to follow my tracks, and I didn't know who to trust. Being myself a citizen of Block M, I have heard a fair amount about you and the DCI, and I knew that if I could trust anyone, I could trust you. So I have trekked, hitchhiked, and fought my way when necessary to return to Block M to meet you, Atman. Hashtag, I need your help. Alphonse and his followers have to be stopped at all costs. I sure as heck can't hide from them, and I'm sick of having to run. Okay. 9.30 sounds great. Thank you, ma'am. That was Agent Anderson of the DCI. She agreed to meet with you tomorrow morning. Thank you so much for everything. Hey, no problem. Don't worry. We've got this covered. Yup, and I'm sure Andrew won't mind letting you stay for the night. Not at all. You can sleep in the guest room. As for me, I'm having dinner with Amy tonight. I'm finally going to pop the question. Cool, I wish you all the best. Thank you. Good night, guys. Well, do you like pizza? Be because I could order one. Yeah, sure. I like pepperoni. All right, pepperoni it is then. Oh, and by the way, no hard feelings. I'm sorry about earlier. I kind of feel like we had a rough start. Hey, forget it. I understand. I was actually surprised it was so easy to convince you both about everything. I kept going through my head about how I was going to do so. All the same, if there's anything I can do to make up for that, please let me know. A nice hot shower. That would be great. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. <laughs> 